Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to get a four-wheeler extended animation over to Unreal Engine. We have three steps that we're to do here. First off, it is to basically set up the project in Unreal Engine. And second is to rig the car that we want to have an animation on. And the third step is how to export that and import that into Unreal Engine. So first of all, this scene here or level is from Epic Games and you can get it from the marketplace of Unreal Engine and type in Automotive Beach and there you have it. This level is totally free. I will also add it as a link in the description below so you quickly can access that. So you can buy that for zero money and then it will end up in your library vault in the bottom here. To add it into a project, you can just click Add to Project and select the project you want to add it to. In my case, I've added it to a blank project. Before we continue in Unreal Engine, we're going to jump over to 3 Studio Max. And once we're in 3 Studio Max, we have our car model. And uh, what we want to do here is to rig this up. However, it's a slightly different than usually how you rig a car model inside of 3 Studio Max. Our recommendation usually is to place the high poly objects as children to each moving part of the four wheel extended. However, in this case, when we're exporting to Unreal Engine or any other engine I would suspect, it's better to use uh, constraints. So let's begin opening up Crafttrick Studio, creating a four wheel extended, and then scale that and rig basically rig up the car that you have. I think that's a good starting point. And then we take the wheels, align them to the center of each tire. like so. And then we select all the wheel meshes, scale them and select local. That looks good. And now we come to the rigging part in Crafter Studio we can open up later. But what I've done here with this model is that I've prepared this one. As you can see, I created layers for each movement to make it easier to rig. So if we take the front wheel, basically it's everything here besides the brake calipers. They, those are supposed to be uh, moving with the center meshes here. So what you do, animation, Constraints, link constraint, and then add it to the wheel. And then we have the brake, animation, constraint, link constraint, and to the center mesh here. And we continue down the road. Brake, animation, constraint, link constraint to center one. And the rear wheel to the wheel of the four wheel extender. Animation, constraint, link constraint to the wheel. One thing to uh, have in mind also is that all these parts, as you can see when I'm not looking in the layer section, they're just in a flat hierarchy. So nothing is underneath anything else. And this is kind of important because it can get screwed up when you import it into Unreal later on. So there we go. Uh, we are to use the body and animation constraint, link constraint to the body of the four wheeler. And we also have the steering wheel in here. That needs to be rigged as well. Uh, see, I've forgotten to align it, but align 
the four wheel ones to the high poly object. Then take the high poly object, animation constraint, link constraint to the steering wheel. And that should be it. Make sure to save this. And now we don't have any ground in here to drive on. And that we are to export from the scene in Unreal. And of course, if you have the scene in 3D Studio Max, you don't need to do this. You can just export that to Unreal later on. In the scene, uh, we are to select the ground that we are to drive on. In this case, it's a couple of them, these three. And to export them, uh, we go to File, Export Selected. And I will overwrite this one with the default settings, Export. Then go back to 3 Studio Max. Then File, Import, Import. And then navigate to the file that we exported. We have Craft Animations, Unreal Projects, Unreal Tutorial, Content, Beach Scene, Maps, and there we go. And no need to really think about anything here. Just click OK. And as you can see, there is six different objects. And we really need just uh, the top ones. These three can go, delete. And these are the ones we want to use for the four-wheeler to understand. The four-wheeler can only be attached to one ground or mesh. And as we have three different, we need to combine these into one mesh. And we do this by going to the Modify panel, change it to be a poly, and then use Attach, and click on those that uh, are to be included in the same mesh. So that's done. Perfect. Let's make an animation of this car. I'm not going to do anything very fancy. But something like this. I'm going to place it as starting point. And then you are to select the grab direction mesh. Grab direction mesh. And then you link that. So that one is placed underneath the ground hierarchy. And now the four wheel extender knows which ground it is to drive on. Next thing is to animate. So we open up CraftRex Studio, set up an input device. I'll just use the keyboard for this one. There we go, animation, go in. Okay, so now when we have the animation, the ground we don't really need to have at this point. So we'll just hide that one. And we are now to export everything else. A good thing to do is to move the timeline back because that's the starting point that will be shown inside of Unreal once we have imported that. Then go File, Export, Export, select the Unreal Datasmith type. And if you don't have this in the dropdown, you need to install the plugin in order for it to work. The link to the plugin uh, can be found in the description below. And then give it a name and hit save. What you want to select here is depending on what you have, of course, but you can also use just the selected objects. In our case, we have hidden the other ones, so visible objects. And to get the animation over, you need to set the active time segment. Click OK. And it will do its job. And once that's done, we go over to Unreal. And once we have opened Unreal Engine, we're going to use the DataSmith plugin to import the exported file that we just did. It might be that you don't have this button here. Then you need to check the plugins and enable that in Unreal Engine and possibly also add it from the marketplace. Click on the Datasmith button and then navigate to the exported file. So 
select the file, click open, choose the import location and then hit OK. We are then to select what we are to include in the import and we can deselect cameras and lights as the things we want to include is the geometry, materials and textures and animations. Then once selected, click on import. And there we go, it's in. So it creates a folder with the same name as the file that you exported. And in the folder, you have different folders for your model. The meshes, materials, and textures are placed in different folders and also the animation. And you can try out the animation by double clicking that and just roll the timeline. And as you can see, the animation is in there. Pretty nice. Another thing that could be of interest for you guys is, of course, uh, what if I remake this animation? Well, one thing you can do, if you don't want to have this at all, you can just go into 3 Studio Max, make a new animation, then export and overwrite the same file. And then in Unreal, you go back to the imported file and model and then you have the data smith scene here you right click that and then pick re-import one thing however here that is good to take note of is that if you just want to update this and you have already done some modifications to the materials and textures or to your model make sure to unselect materials and textures because otherwise those will be overwritten and all the work you have done will be in vain geometry and the animations those two you need to have in here and sync the data smith scene actors and then you hit import and it will overwrite everything the thing you want to do in here if you want to keep the animation you already have here is to just make a duplicate right click and then select duplicate and just give it a name first just to demonstrate however this initial one will be overwritten next time we're going to jump over to 3 Studio max and then make another animation it's a short one like this hit stop so let's export this new one Yes, replace, active title segment. There we go. Jump over to Unreal and then right click the datasmith scene and re import. Unselect the materials and textures if that is selected and then hit import. And there we go. So now in animations, you have your first animation still in here still functioning as it was before but you also have the second one you can use great so that's basically everything that we were to go through this time around if you like this tutorial please give us a like and subscribe for more content coming in the future if you have any questions please post them in the comments below uh, we're happy to um, help out and in the description, we will also post the links to the models. So one for the scene and one for the car model. However, the car model is not free, but it's a great model from Squire. So I urge you to check them out. So thank you and uh, see you later.